Today's video, I have another video on feints for you guys. And we're gonna cover today from a southpaw angle fighting an orthodox fighter. And if you're an orthodox fighter, you can just do the same thing. It's just vice versa. It's gonna be, it could be the same move from the orthodox position fighting a southpaw fighter. And I got Paul Palumbo, who's a southpaw. And Paul was uh, 2019 Western Pennsylvania Golden Glove champion. And he's gonna be helping me demonstrate this today. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna be feinting his rear hand. A lot of times people teach about feinting the jab, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can feint the, lead, the rear hand as well, okay? So what he's gonna do is he's fighting me as an orthodox fighter, okay? Now, depending upon where our, where our foot position is, he can throw different punches to counter. He, what he's trying to do is bait me with that, with this hand, and then he's gonna counter me with a shot, okay? So he's throwing that, that punch as a bait today for me to throw something back at him or for me to cover up in a certain situation so he can create an opening, okay? So I'll just show you, if, Paul, if I'm fighting Paul and he's orthodox and he, fa he faints that rear hand at me, okay. Now, let's say I think it's coming up the middle and I cover and he could throw, he could throw his right hook to the outside because I, I thought it was coming, so maybe I, my guard is, is that I, I tighten up here. So now I'm leaving myself open for a hook to the outside, okay? So he's, he's when he, the way he's feinting at, the way he would, how you would practice a feint is, the way you want to practice these feints, there's all kinds of different ways to feint, but a very good way to feint is if he throws the left hand the regular way he throws the left hand. Boom, okay. Now when he throws the feint, he's just going to throw it not even quite half, halfway out there at the most. He could throw it out there. Now I really think it's in the same rhythm as he threw the left hand. So throw a regular left hand. Now throw a halfway out. Boom, I think it's coming, okay? So he threw, a, maybe he hit me with a, a left hand lead. So the next, next time he feints it and I cover and he's able to come across and come over the top with the hook because I brought my guard in tight, okay? He created that opening by feinting that left hand, okay? The other thing that he can do is Maybe I try to parry it or block it, or maybe I just cover like this. I cover tight and I see it coming and I go like this, and then I release my hands. Maybe I do the same thing, and then he can throw an uppercut up the middle. So it can, he's creating opening. So he feints that shot. I look for it, then I open it, and that's right. Right when I look to say it didn't come, I see it didn't come. It's all about playing games and it's timing. Okay, it's in, in, insight and timing. So he throws that, he throws that left, he throws that feint with the left hand. I cover, now I don't see it coming, so now I'm gonna open up, and right when I open up, he throws it from underneath, okay? And my eyes are looking here, so now I don't, I'm, looking, I'm looking at him, and he's throwing, he's, he's making me react to that left hand lead, and I'm covering, and now he's throwing a punch from underneath, okay? So that's a very, very good shot as well when he's throwing that. The other thing that we can do is, let's say my foot's on the, on, on the inside of his foot, okay? And he feints that left, left hand. And I think that I could come over the top with my right cross over top his left hand. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna beat me to the hook because he baited the punch and it didn't come all the way out. If he throws it all the way out, I could roll it and come across with it, right? He could throw it, I could roll it and come across with it, okay? One more time with that, you faint, you bring it all the way out, you bring it all the way out, and I can come across with it, okay? But now if he baits me to throw it, and I start to throw it, or I start to roll, because I thought it was coming all the way out, I thought it was coming all the way out, so now I started to roll, and then when I start to come, boom, he's beating me with the hook. So that's just a great move, okay? You get the guy, you get your foot on the outside of the guy's foot, whether you're orthodox or whether you're, whether you're uh, that's why this is chess, okay? Because I could say to myself, and we're going to be covering this in other videos too, that I could bait him to throw that left hand because I want to throw the cross over the top. So in other words, I, I let him get that position. I let him get that position so he can throw that left. I, I want him to try to throw the left hand because I'm baiting to throw the cross on him, okay? So he throws the left hand lead, and I can go, I can come right here, and I can come right across and catch him, okay? Do it again. I go... Right here, I could come right across. So now he baits me 
boom. And I come, I, I go to roll and I go to throw it, boom, and he beats me with the hook. See, so he faints it. I think that's coming, so I roll. I'm coming across, boom, and he beats me with the hook. So that's just the real sneaky, that's what I'm saying, you're playing chess. But these feints, these feints can put you right in the game, uh, really fooling a guy, okay? So the other thing he, he can do is he, he can throw that maybe, maybe I got position on him where, or maybe we're just even, and he just throws that, and I feel like I could throw a jab at him. Maybe I'm going to catch this. Maybe I got my hand where I always talk about you should have your hand. You're right in here, and I feel like he's throwing that hand, and I could, and I could, and what I could do is he's fainting that left hand, and I'm looking to catch it and maybe just shoot a jab. Okay? So I think he's gonna throw a full left hand. If he throws a full left hand, and I could just I could just catch it and shoot my jab right down the middle. But what he's gonna do is he's gonna bait it. I'm gonna look to catch it, shoot my jab, and he's gonna come over the top with his with his hook. Okay? He's gonna come over the top with his hook. So he's and then what he's doing, it's almost, like, it's almost like he's pulling back too, so he's getting away from my jab as well. So what he's doing there is he's throwing that left hand, okay? I shoot the jab, and he's coming over the top, and my left hand, my left jab is going to come short, okay? One more time. So you're throwing that, and then I shoot it. See that? So I'm looking to catch and shoot a jab, and he is coming over the top. He's able to catch me over the top. And if I lean... Or I step to the step with the jab. He's going to have a good. He's going. He's going to be able to catch me even better. So in other words, he he throw he throws that he throws that feint. I look to catch it. I look to shoot. I'm going to shoot the jab, and he's and he's getting off first. He's getting off. He's going to beat me to it because he's the one that's setting me up. He's baiting it. Okay. So he, he if, if he was to throw a full jab, throw a full jab. I mean a full a full left hand. I'm sorry, full left hand. I would catch it and shoot it right. Throw it. I would catch it and shoot it. Throw it again, I can catch it and shoot it. But if he baits it, he baits it, he throws it halfway out there. See that? And now I'm I'm delayed on my reaction to jab because I'm feeling like I'm gonna catch and shoot. Catch and shoot. So he throws it halfway out there. I, he's gonna be he's starting to throw the hook while I'm throwing the jab first. Boom. So my 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 jab is gonna come short and his hook's gonna land. So just to give you guys a visual on the pads of just practicing a faint. And coming back with the hooks, faint in the left hand, coming back with the hook, faint in the left hand, coming back with an uppercut, two of the punches that we covered. And, and you just work on that on the pads. He knows the situations that he would do this, what we covered earlier when he's fighting. But right now, he's just working on the basic of it. Just learn how to faint that left hand. So if he throws the, throws the left hand all the way out, okay, what he's going to do is faint it halfway out, throw the hook, faint it half, that's it, faint it, there you go. Good, good. See it, hands in tight. Hands in tight and throw the hook again. There you go. Now throw the uppercut. Throw it out more. There you go, throw it out. Make the guy believe it. There you go. That's it. Do it again. Like that, good. So that gives you guys a visual of what you're practicing when you're in the when you're in the gym. Like I said, it's a really, really good move right there. I mean, feints, all feints are just very can be very, very effective if you know how to use them. So take that into the gym, practice it. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Kello Boxing. Also, go to the website worldclassboxinggym.com and get on the email list so you guys stay tuned to all the updates because we're going to be coming out with a lot of stuff in 2021. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. Leave your guys' questions, and I'll see you guys next time. Today I was